This is my brand new Ferk Yellow Deluxe. Now in November, I got invited to go to Nashville to hang out with Ferk Guitars, and in exchange for hanging out, touring a video, making a video of them, part of the deal was that they would give me a guitar and I would get to pick whichever one I want. Now that's an impossibly complicated task, so I wanna walk through what this guitar is and how I wound up choosing this guitar as the guitar that I have, and then there's some really exciting news uh, at the end of this video uh, about what's coming next with me and Ferk Guitars. So let's jump in right away. Before we do, make sure you subscribe. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter, and in this video, I will teach you how I conceptually understand what guitars I should own, especially when you look at this guitar compared to the other more traditional kinds of guitars I have, compared to the totally crazy guitars that I have, how do I keep track? And because I think a lot of us by accident, you'll it's not hard to wind up with way too many guitars that don't necessarily fit together or work together. So let's do that. Now that you're subscribed, let's jump in. So this is my Ferk Yellow Deluxe. Now I decided on this guitar after I spent some time with Ferk in Nashville. And so when I went there, I played all uh, as many guitars as I could, probably 20 or 30 guitars. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here. But in that video, I decided that I really, really, really was excited about their Cedar Top guitar. Now they only had a couple there and I ended up bringing a guitar back with me. It was a red master's choice and that guitar ended up, I made a video on it and then I immediately found uh, my friend Billy f fell head over heels for that guitar. So Billy now owns it. So if you follow Billy Nix on uh, Instagram, you've probably seen it. It's a very cool guitar. Now for me, there's something magical about a cedar top guitar with rosewood back and sides, a smaller body, just something in that really crispy, trebly, full bass, just amazing sounding guitar. And so for this, when I had free range to pick any guitar that I wanted, the Ferk Yellow Deluxe was pretty much the first one that came uh, to my heart and mind and affections. So this guitar is a cedar, it's a western cedar top, it's East Indian Rosewood back inside, it's mahogany neck. And this is, the, the, this is the deluxe version. So with the deluxe, there's a belly cut back here and there's also an arm bevel up top. It's an incredibly comfortable guitar to play. One thing that I know as I've shown people that this is the guitar that I picked, they've scratched their heads a bit and they've been a little confused. So let me explain why. Number one, like I said, I think that this is an incredible formula for a finger style, a modern sounding finger style guitar is a cedar top rosewood back and sides. There's something about it that just does a really specific thing for my ears, hands, body, heart, soul, just all in, this guitar is really great. So I wanna share some of my conceptual understanding of how I put a guitar collection together. Now this is something I do cover in my course, Write Guitars Faster. If you're curious, I'll put a link. Uh, there's, there's nothing here, I don't know why I'm putting my hand here. There will be a link in the description down below to my course. But when you're looking at the guitars that you own, for me, it is most helpful to use two kind of general strategies. Number one, I envision a grid or a, an X and Y axis in which on the top, I have very specific sounding guitars and on the bottom I have very diverse sounding guitars and then if you go left to right very bright guitars and on the other end I have very uh, very dark sounding guitars and so for me when I start visualizing guitars on those two axes I start seeing where I have gaps and holes and then once I try to fill at least all core all four quadrants with at least one guitar that is very specific and very bright very specific and very dark very general and very dark and very bright so for me, as I lay my guitars over that, I started to notice that I didn't have a bright finger style guitar, a bright general sounding, just sounds good strumming, finger picking. And so that was a guitar that I knew I'd been looking for for a long time because the exact opposite of this guitar basically is my Waterloo WLS, which is dark and very specific sounding. So these two play total opposites. The other strategy that I use for developing a guitar collection is that I kind of look as if I'm casting a movie or as if I'm telling a story. I know the roles I need to have in that story. And so for me, I've picked five or six, there are hundreds of these, but for me, generally speaking, I usually try to go for, you need to have a couple guitars. You need to have your ride or die. That's the guitar you have every day that works for everything that you're doing. You can play in the dark, you can play at any show. You're not gonna need to know where the fret markers are because you can just play that thing without thinking. The second guitar that I usually think people need to have is Old Faithful. So this is something cool, something old, something that's been with you for a while. Uh, then there's another one that's super fun and most people have this, actually you kind of get this first as as your ride or die and then it moves slowly over time down the road into uh, your blast from the past. This is a nostalgic guitar. For me, this is my Tom DeLonge Strat. 
Uh, and then there are other roles, like the Groundbreaker. You need to have a guitar that kind of pushes you into new territory. And uh, yeah, so there are a whole bunch of that. I cover that a whole lot more in depth and in more detail in the course Write Guitars Faster. If you want to know how I put together a guitar collection, check out that. It's a busy spot. I'm at a river and like kids are showing up because I didn't get here quite early enough in the morning. And uh, But this is my Furk Yellow Deluxe. And so just closing thoughts on this guitar and this video. Oh, and I have to tell you about what's coming up. So this guitar, the reason I chose this guitar is because it is just a perfect, diverse, finger style modern guitar and this is a guitar that I need to have it's just a, a gap in my coverage uh, for what kinds of guitar tones I can offer any musical situation I'm in the thing about Furk that has been so incredible to me is I didn't really know Furk guitars before a thousand of you told me that I should check them out uh, for me Furk guitars they have a precision they have a laser precise ability to create guitars that are just if you want a modern guitar, I have never played anything better than this. It is every joint, every seam, every inlay is perfectly. I mean, like, their tolerances are insane. Like, this is, like, full-on industrial design. It really is uh, an incredible guitar. It also has incredible energy transfer. What's interesting to me is, like, when I tune and I feel the strings, I can feel way more vibration, more resonance in the headstock than I normally do in other guitars. Uh, this guitar, it, my only critique of this guitar so far is that it came with, uh, I think they're the Elixir Nano Webs, the Foster Bronze, which I normally like that string a lot. But on this guitar, man, they are zingy. They are very trebly, very bright. And so I'm curious, I'm gonna try uh, some other things. And I'm gonna try some other strings, see what I can find. Maybe some Nickel Bronze, maybe some Aluminum Bronze. Uh, I'll put some String Joy Foxwoods on it because I have plenty of those. Now the last thing that I need to do to this guitar is I need to put a pickup in it. But uh, that will be the last thing that will get this guitar totally ready to just join in. Because this guitar sounds like a praise and worship guitar to me in most situations. It's very strummy and so I'm excited for it for that regard. And the last thing and most exciting about Furk, and it does feel like a, a different level for my YouTube channel and my just guy on the internet talking about guitar status. Uh, Furk Guitars is going to fly my wife and I to the Czech Republic uh, for an event at the factory. We're going to tour the factory. I'm going to get to make videos with the team at Furk, and I am so excited and so thankful. That only happens, the only way that happens is through you guys watching these videos, and I am so thankful for it. Uh, so I'm incredibly excited for that trip. I'm going to see where this guitar was made. I've now had three Furks with me. And uh, I'm excited. I mean, I adore guitars. I love guitars and I love what they do to people. And uh, I'm excited to share that journey. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all these videos and for being subscribed to this channel. It just means so much. Now it is a goal that I would get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. That's just, it feels like that's a really important milestone. And uh, I've, I've never worked harder at anything than I've worked at making these videos over the last couple of years. So uh, if you would, please subscribe and tell your guitar playing friends about it. And uh, in the meantime, uh, check out some Furk guitars. I hope you play your guitar. Whatever guitar you have, that's the right guitar for you right now. Uh, the best guitar is the one you already have. So anyway, if you're curious about how to collect guitars, check out Red Guitars Faster. But thanks for watching these videos. I'll see you later.